This video was brought to you by Indently.io. Learning Python made simple. How's it going everyone? In today's video, we're going to be covering the new features that we have in Python's new REPL in Python 3.13. And to do so, I'm going to be using two versions of Python. On one side, I'm going to be using Python 3.12. And on the right side, I'll be using Python 3.13 so we can see the differences side by side. Starting with the first major change, and this one you'll notice immediately when you start REPL in a new script. And by the way, just to sidetrack a little bit because I just learned about this today, REPL stands for read, eval, print, loop. So first you read the code, then it evaluates it, and then it prints the output. For example, one plus one, as you can see, first it read the code we entered, it evaluated it and then it printed the output. I recently just learned it stood for that. And a lot of you probably knew this from the beginning, but in case you didn't, that's what REPL stands for. Anyway, let's continue with the first new feature we have in Python 3.13, which is finally having cola in our REPL. As you can see, the triple arrows have cola. If we were to raise some sort of exception, actually I'm not even going to raise this exception properly, you'll notice that we're going to get some cola in our code, which is awesome. We can actually debug it a lot easier. In Python 3.12 and under, if we were to do something that doesn't make sense, such as raise X, we're going to get a lot of white text. And I mean, it's not impossible to read, it's just not that comfortable. So having cola is amazing. Another new feature we have in Python 3.13 is better indentation which means that if we're typing a function such as hello, if I can type that, and you tap on enter, it's going to auto indent that. So we don't have to worry about those spaces. And here we can print, let's say, hello. That's going to take care of that function. And now we can call it anytime we want. So if we tap on enter, when we type in hello, we're going to get hello as an output. In Python versions prior to 3.13, it takes a bit more effort. If we were to create the exact same function, you'll notice that it's going to take us to the same indentation level as the definition. So here we need to manually tap on tab, and then we can print hello once again, and tap on enter. Then everything else works exactly the same way. And this actually goes for anything that has auto indentation when you're using a code editor, such as for loops, for i in range three, enter, you'll see that we still need to tap on tab and then print whatever we want to do, such as i. While in Python 3.13, we can easily type in for i in range three and print i without having to indent manually. Moving on to the third feature, and this has to do with editing functionality. Right now we created a function that was called hello, but maybe we messed up the implementation details. In Python versions prior to 13, we can tap on the up arrow until we arrive to that function definition and redefine the function from scratch. So here we can print Bob instead. Now, if we were to call that, that's going to work just fine. But it was quite annoying that we had to type in all of the code once again. But now in Python 3.13, we can tap on the up arrow until we find that function and it's going to give us everything that's part of the function. So we don't have to rewrite those implementation details. We can even add more code such as print, why not? Now this code doesn't really make any sense, but it's cool that we can edit it just by tapping on the up arrow. Now at this point, I want to show you one of my favorite features because we created a huge mess here and it would be nice to clean all of this up. In the latest version of Python, Python 3.13, we can type in clear just as we would with a console and it's going to get rid of everything on the screen. The functions and variables you created are still there. We just have a clean console or I guess we can also zoom up. Yes. While with Python versions prior to this, I have absolutely no idea how you can even clear the screen without restarting the console entirely. So I think that's a crazy cool feature that has been introduced to Python 3.13, which will actually get me to use Python's REPL much more often. And finally, let's talk about paste mode, which is another one of my favorite features that has been introduced in Python 3.13. And to activate it, you just need to hold down FN, F3, or on Windows, it might be different, but it's the F3 key. 
and you'll notice that it's going to say paste as soon as you do that. And what that means is that we can actually copy code from anywhere and paste it in as a block. And it looks kind of funky here because it was kind of smashed together, but you'll notice that it's going to maintain the indentation level for each line of code. And when we tap on enter, we will now have, or actually this won't work because we also have to import any, which I did not do. So I'm just going to copy everything and try again, type in clear and paste it in once again. And this time it's going to work because I imported any, which I used later in the class. Now I can use my hardware error inside this REPL. If we were to do the exact same thing in Python versions prior to 3.13, what you're going to notice is that we're going to get a lot of errors because at certain points, it's not going to know what it's doing anymore. And as you can see, we have an indentation error every few lines of code. And this is not ideal if you want to paste in some code. So it's really nice now that we can just do that intuitively in Python 3.13. Now, actually I'm going to type in for I in range, let's say 100 tab, print nothing just to get some space on the left side. And I should have known that it would put the cursor all the way down to the bottom, but whatever. Now we have some peace of mind on the screen. In addition to those main five features, we also have some other features that are very useful in Python 3.13, such as the ability to type in help without having to use parentheses. And the same thing goes for exit and quit. We do not need to use the parentheses anymore if we want to use those commands. In other versions, we do need to use parentheses. It's not going to work if we type in quit or exit or help. It's going to require us to use those parentheses. While in Python 3.13, we can just type in help and that's going to work. But let's exit out of there. Or if we want to exit, we can just type in exit and it's going to exit out of the REPL. And we can just restart it by typing in Python 3.13. In other Python versions, we do need to use the parentheses. So here we can type in exit with parentheses and it's going to work just fine. Then we can clear the console so we can restart it once again, Python 3.12. And now we have another console here. In Python 3.13, if you need help, you can also use the F1 key and it's going to trigger the help box. But we don't really care about that, so we're just going to enter Q and then clear the console. And finally, I want to introduce you to history mode. So just for now, we're going to type in one plus one and then we can type in print I don't know, Bob. And then we can create a variable, a variable that holds the value of 10, and then we will print that variable. Now, this is some very simple stuff, but pretend you want to see the entire history of everything you've done. One way to do it, obviously, is just to scroll up. But another thing we can do is tap on F2. So now we can see the entire history of this console. And if we scroll all the way down, you'll notice that we added one plus one, we printed Bob, we assigned the value of 10 to a variable and we printed that variable. All very straightforward. And to exit, we just tap on Q. But yeah, that just about covers all the major features of the new REPL that we have in Python 3.13. Do let me know in the comment section down below whether I missed anything or whether you have any questions regarding it. I did forget to mention that there are still a few bugs with the new REPL. As you can see, I have two cursors over here, or I don't know if they're called cursors or what they're called, but we have two of them instead of one. And this can happen when you are in help mode or when you're in history mode and you exit out of it. From what I understood, the developers are looking into this and are trying to fix it as soon as possible. But at the moment, it doesn't stop us from typing in more code so we can still print Bob. So Python 3.13's REPL is still a bit buggy, but it's wonderful. I absolutely love these new changes and I'm very excited to start using it. I might even start bringing some future tutorials in REPL because it just feels so clean and intuitive. Anyway, I've been talking for quite a while now. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.